Deflected ball to Megan Myers for the Cavs. And again, a chance here she'll pass it, but her runs are good at creating space. Van Steenberg unmarked on the far side if Ewing can find her. Instead to Bronthel, one more turn would have picked it up. Ames is here in Caesar, and Van Steenberg checks back to show a good 1-2 with Ames. Still Ames at the 18, and cleared away. Van Steenberg uh, hits an under hit and a collision three-way, and a penalty is called again. Cassandra Clark in the middle of it. Two Cavalier players went down. Clark initiating the contact in the eyes of the official, Joe Tompkins. Stocker took the last one. Ewing is quick to grab the ball this time, has it placed on the mark, and says, this one's mine. Has a few words from the uh, official, Tompkins. Not sure why. Checks to make sure everyone's outside the 18. Oh, keeper went the wrong way, and Ewing patiently putting it home at 57 39. Gabrielle Ewing with her four. Yeah, I mean, it was just a weird day overall. You know, we had the 30 minute lightning delay, and um, we were uh, doing a cancer awareness day, and just a lot of other things going on today. And so I think that just kind of um, a little off kilter a little bit mm -hmm. to start the game. Um, but it, at the same time, tactically in the first half, we did a lot of the things that we wanted to do. We we kept the ball in our zone. Um, we just didn't really have that final pass or final shot in the first half. And then obviously, you know, earning the penalty kick and not making it, sometimes, you know, that can be, um, you know, that can kind of start you on a downward spiral. But I thought the team did a really good job responding from that, created some really good chances. Um, we just didn't have that uh, final pass, a final shot uh, mm -hmm. in the first half. Yeah, defensively, um, they've been really good. Um, and um, Katie and Anna have done a really good job in that center back position. Um, Carly and Stalker have done their jobs on the outside. I thought those guys played really well today because uh, Northwest Nazarene has some good attacking players. Uh, Kinsey came in off the bench and, and did a good job as well. And so, um, you know, that's a good sign for us is that we're limiting chances. We've just got to be a little bit more, uh, you know, have a little bit more uh, emphasis on the attacking end. We've really struggled over there, to be honest, the last two years. This is our third straight year going over there. Difficult place to play. Um, they are, you know, well-organized, uh, athletic. Uh, they make it difficult to score goals. Um, you know, I think it's going to be very similar to the game today. Um, Northwest Nazarene, well-organized, very athletic. Um, it just make it really hard to create chances, and I think that's going to be the same thing for us tomorrow at Montana State Building.